Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This will be for any Capricorn placement, propensity, energy that is relevant to you. Contact information, personal reading information, anything seen in the video will all be on my website. The link for that is in the description box. At the end, we will also pull some Oracle cards just to give you some more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. The reading is aimed for the end of March, beginning of April, but time is elusive. Whenever it reaches you, that's when you are meant to hear it. All of your cards laid out. Interesting. Bottom of the deck this week, Capricorn, we're looking at the Ace of Swords. Victory, clarity, truth, now energy too. So something could definitely be getting ready to happen for you right now, also within a week. Okay, but victory, seeing clearly, also communication, conversation, energy. Let's see what's going on. Looks like you need it. Looks like you need it right now, that clarity. Past position, we're starting with the Six of Pentacles and Major Arcana. Uh, the Magician card, Aries energy. Definitely, I'm getting there was some sort of breadcrumbing situation here. Someone that had a lot on their plate. Someone that had multiple things to give to. Uh, you could have been manifesting this person. This person could have been manifesting you. Or this could just be someone that... Um, Kind of arrogant energy is what I'm getting. Right? Um, but yeah, there was definitely something that started here in the past. Some sort of um, manifestation energy. You could have been manifesting some sort of balance in a situation. Someone else you are connected to energetically. A friend, family, whatever, love. Manifesting some sort of balance within a situation that was not balanced. Okay? Someone that uh, you could have not been someone's priority or someone wasn't your priority. Trying to manifest some sort of balance here. Present position, nine of wands and the seven of wands, lots of wands. So this could be two different people that I'm picking up on. The top row could be representing someone for you and the bottom row could be representing someone for you. Pick where you fit. The nine of wands is an energy of the wounded warrior. Someone that has been through a lot of things but not willing to give up. Still has a bit of fight left in them, right? The Seven of Wands is someone that is very defensive. This could also be one person's energy. Someone that has been through a lot. You guys, maybe the situation has been through many levels and in, in, in phases, but someone's still not willing to give up on it. Someone still wants to fight for it, defend it. This could be you. This could be someone you are connected to energetically. If this is coming up as two different people here, whoever the Six of Pentacles person is, has been through a lot, but they're still wanting to fight for the situation, still wanting to put work in, you know? This other person down here, if this is representing two different people's energy, someone wants to move on to something new, standing their ground, very uh, defensive energy. Whoever this person was that was breadcrumbing, definitely I'm getting this as two different energies. This could be you, this could be someone you're dealing with, you know how to fit. This person up here was the breadcrumber. And although you guys have probably done this many times with this Nine of Wands, or this is just someone who has been through a lot in life in general, still wanting to balance out the situation, even though they know they are breadcrumbing, and how I know they know they're breadcrumbing, because we have this Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles in your future position. Someone here has a lot of regret. Still very much focused on past situations, events, people that um, was not fulfilling, that did not work out, but failing to realize that there are new opportunities for them to, to grasp. Needing to change the focus with the five energy. Someone that has been maybe taking a very long time to make decisions here. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles energy, Earth sign energy. Slowest night in the deck, but the only positive with this night is that when he does make a decision, the decision is gold, all right? It's as good as gold. So I'm definitely getting there could be someone that was taking a very long time to decide whether or not they wanted to put effort into a situation. Maybe they had a lot going on, a lot of responsibilities that enabled this breadcrumbing energy. So you could have definitely decided to manifest somewhere else, somewhere something new, because this was taking too long. But this person is going to be feeling regret. I don't think they're wanting to stop fighting for this. We also got an extra card, the Knight of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries Lear or Sagittarius. This is someone that is taking action, 
Okay, someone that sees what they want and they go to get it. No if, ands, or buts. Very different energy from this Knight of uh, Knight of Pentacles. So I'm definitely getting that here. Victory, truth, conversation, energy. Yeah, another Knight. Knight of Cups. There's definitely movement forward on this person's behalf, whoever I'm picking up here at the top. Because I think this is how you're being perceived as the Queen of Pentacles, male or female, it does not matter. Someone that is very nurturing, someone that has their shit together, someone that is worth investing in, right? And if this person was breadcrumbing in you in the past, yeah, they're going to realize that that was a big mistake. You don't have time to waste. You, you, you have mentally, I think, started to put your energy into new possibilities. But there is a conversation coming. Somebody definitely wants to start fresh, start new. More Aries energy. The Fool card, Major Arcana. And the Two of Cups. Yeah, not wanting to let go. Ooh, King of Cups. We can go on and on. Yeah, you're not done hearing from somebody. <laughs> Let's get the Oracles for you, Capricorn. Yeah, this is definitely you, right? Queen of Pentacles. Not giving to a situation, reserving your energy, allowing what is for you to come to you. This is you manifesting something new here. You will keep out, fight out anything that is not going to give you what you deserve. And someone was definitely not giving enough here in the past with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles can be generous energy, but I think there was a lack of generosity in your direction in the past. So you moved on. But it's not quite over something someone has something to say we'll be taking action communicate feelings wanting a new start speaking the truth giving you some sort of clarity about some sort of mutual partnership that will be your decision obviously what else do we have guidance capricorn adjustments are required this also came out in the libra reading adjustments are required definitely someone wants to make adjustments definitely What's at the bottom? Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. We do have a new moon coming up on Friday. Or this week. Could be past, you, if you, you know. So definitely, this is one week energy. Something, some sort of back and forth dialect could definitely be happening within the week of you watching the video. Whenever that is for you. Capricorn. Chameleon spirit. 14, which is a 5, another 5. 5, 5 could be significant. Act as if. This is you and this magician energy. You are aware of yourself and your abilities to get what you want. And if you're not going to get it somewhere else, you're going to move on. It will definitely be up to you if this person's too late, right? Definitely communication coming, though. Someone is wanting to take action. Capricorn. Realizing they didn't give you what you deserved. Because if you're the Queen of Pentacles, they didn't give you what you deserved. And they had more than enough Pentacles to give out. Hypothetically, literally, however. And they weren't giving you the amount you deserved. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Someone is definitely being guided here. I did see the High Priestess. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits. Soul Tribe. This is conversation could definitely be happening in person for some of you but someone is being guided to reach out to express to balance the scales to speak the truth to take action all right capricorn that is your reading for the week i really do hope it resonates with every single last one of you Thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all next week.